Today we're going to look at rapid visualization, so getting your um, eyes and hands working really well together so you can quickly draw forms that you are thinking of within your head. So we're going to start off with um, getting drawing a whole lot of parallel lines because that's what constructs um, 3D forms which we're going to draw later on. Um, and then getting into ratios, thinking about the proportions of forms before we, of shapes before we start on drawing 3D forms. So let's get started. I'm going to be using a pen to sketch with because that um, will make me not um, want to go back and fix things up. We're going to, it's going to force me to draw lighter so that I can. Um, retry things without having to erase them and it's going to make me commit to what I'm drawing to. So the first thing we're going to do is set up a whole lot of parallel lines about a centimetre apart, drawing about 10 of them. And then we are going to draw horizontal lines. You can either move your page, turn it around if you find you're better at drawing vertical lines rather than horizontal but um, for the sake of this activity I will keep it my page um, still. And then you're going to do some 45 degree lines so kind of half of that 90 degree angle and ideally keep that gap similar. So now you've practiced parallel lines. If this didn't quite work out do it again okay and you'll see that you may have got some really good connections and intersections between the three lines like that and that and that there and that there. So you can actually identify those because those intersections are going to be important for further drawing. Look at all those, okay? So see how many intersections you get with your three different axes, vertical, horizontal, and 45 degree. The next thing that we're going to do is we're going to draw some dots. And we're going to practice making our hand follow where our eye is looking. So what's going to happen is I'm going to be looking at this dot here, but my hand is here. So my hand should follow where I want my eye to go, I mean my hand to go. So remember you, your hand is going to have to be nice and loose to be able to do this, to behave in the way that your eyes um, are telling it, otherwise it is not going to want to move in that direction very comfortably. And hopefully your lines are getting straighter as you do that. So keep doing that until you are more confident with that. The idea is to um, look at the point that you want your line to go to. So remember that we've got these intersections. We want these types of our lines to go into particular places. So this, these two activities are a really good thing to practice before you start sketching. The next thing we're going to do is look at our parallel lines and see if we can draw some squares. So two sets of horizontal lines, two sets of vertical lines. You're trying to get that proportion, so that measurement similar to that. So no rulers, you're just eyeing it up. And then you're going to quarter this. And you're going to find the best square out of those. This one's mine, and I'm going to quarter that. I'm going to find the best square out of that and quarter that so that you're identifying the best proportions of a square which is even across and up. So you're going to do that three times. You can pause the video to do this. The next we're going to look at this type of ratio. So we can draw a square which is ratio 1 to 1. Draw three of those, trying to get that proportion really even. And you can check that by measuring it against your pencil or pen that you're drawing with. 
Then you're going to try ratio 1 to 2. Trying to get those lines nice and parallel. So you're going to mark out that measurement there first, and then you're going to mark it along a second time to get that ratio 1 to 2. And do that three times on your page. Then we're just going to keep increasing our ratio so that we get a longer shape, getting those parallel lines again. You can change this kind of proportion, so that, I mean this um, size for your ratio. See how these are similar and I'm getting smaller now? So I'm having to test out using that repetition but with a different size. One, two, three. You do not need to write the ratio down, this is just for you to be able to read. And you can do that three times. You can darken out the box if you want to with a darker line once you're happy with the shape that you have drawn. And then you're going to try one to five. So your lines are going to have to be quite parallel when you get do this when you start it off, otherwise it's not going to look very square down here anymore. So one, get be really happy with that first proportion before you continue on. One, two, three, four, five. See how I'm kind of checking my line before I draw it, so I'm kind of ghosting it before I set it out, um, just to ensure that I'm going to draw the line where I want it to go. Ratio one to five, and draw that three times. You're gonna to get to a point that you're gonna fill up that page um, with your different ratios. The next thing that we're going to be doing is getting those ratios um, into some 3D forms. So we're going to draw out that ratio of 1 to 1. Remember, I want these lines to... You're not going to be drawing your square like this. No. You're going to be drawing four separate lines that intersect. And ideally, those lines cross over. So you've got this crossover here. Okay, so you can see that you're drawing separate lines. It's a really good habit to get into when we start to draw more complex forms. Um, it's going to be a skill that is required. Here I'm drawing a second square over top of the first one. And see how it's kind of centered in the middle of this front square. Now we're going to join the um, appropriate corners with an angled line. Remember, you know that point joining activity? This is what you're doing here. You've got two points and you're trying to join it up with a line. And you can ghost that first. You can check it out with your pen and that movement with your whole arm before you actually draw that. So you're gonna draw that three times, trying to get your proportions better each time. The gap between doesn't need to be exact. But if you try to get this corner in the middle of that front um, surface, it's going to work out well. Once you finish, you can darken those lines in. So it starts to separate from the background. We're going to do the same thing, but with a couple of different ratios. So if you set out a box that is scale one, ratio one to two, so that's one, and that is two, so two squares. Then, remember the middle, I can draw another ratio one to two box behind. So that's the, that there, same height there. And that would be my ratio about there and there. Then I'm gonna be joining up those corners. Okay, we've got ratio one to one here, ratio two, oh, one to two there. Once you are comfortable with these two ratios, I want you to mix it up and try out ratio one, two, three, one, two, five. And then you can start playing around with the um, orientation of your forms. So making your blocks sit vertically. So 
to 1, ratio, ratio 1 to 2, and then getting your block sitting behind it. You see that I'm kind of fixing up my form as I go, and I'm drawing really lightly to do that. Of course, I'm drawing with a pen so that you guys can see it pretty clearly um, within the drawing. And you can see that this is not very square here, so I need to drop it down a little bit, because remember, it needs to be a similar kind of quarter of that being raised up above. And that means that these three angles that I put in are parallel. So if I turn the page around, you'll see that each of those lines match up. Same with there. They match. They're all parallel to one another, like what we did in this activity back here. Okay, so you're going to do three of ratio one to two, three of ratio one to three, three of that proportion too. Good.